Hi everyone, it's Laurel here, and I have stumbled across a really cool product. Um, it's known as several different things, shrink art, shrinky dink, shrink plastic. Uh, this company, Darcy, she makes these shrink plastic project kits, and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. And here's a look at all the stuff I'm going to show you how I made in the video. And it's so cool and so fun, and I saw it in my local craft booking store, and I got it and came home, and... Uh, showed my son and it was just super cool. So this is it. It's by Darcy's and I'll link to it uh, in the YouTube description and on my blog. The the one I chose to get here is called A Friend for All Season. She has a bunch of different project kits. She also makes stamps and all kinds of other things, but today I'm focusing just on the shrink project kits. So with this kit, it's about $18. You get a CD, which works for a Macintosh or a uh, personal computer. Blech. I have a Mac, of course, and you get all these images on a CD and all this stuff, and you make this little thing right here, which I'm showing you. The little gingerbread person is actually the shrink plastic, and then the little gingerbread head was this tin pin, which I'll show you again in a minute. So you get this CD with the kit. It has about 200 images on it. She has it all broken up by uh, different themes. With this particular one, the reason why I chose it is because you get Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, bunnies. You get all these different things of all seasons into one kit. You also get four pieces of this shrink plastic paper, which is the specialty paper. Now, this is for inkjet printing. So, her kit uh, is made specifically for inkjet printers. The CDs have all of the clip arts and all of the cute images on it, and you run it through your printer. And she also, in the kit, you get this very detailed uh, description on how to use everything, which is what I did. I didn't do any research. Usually I go on YouTube and look stuff up before I try it, but I was able to use her directions to a T. Now, that thing that I'm showing you is actually called tin pins, and you can actually use some of them with some of her clip art. So here it is. These are just some of the images that are on that CD, and if you look in the middle there, there's the gingerbread man. And I, separ I purchased separately, which is not part of the kit, that little tin pin thing so I can actually put the little gingerbread head on top of the gingerbread shrink plastic that I'm going to make uh, and kind of create something like this and I'm going to do this in a totally separate video I'm not going to do that today but I just wanted to show you that little extra piece that I bought but again it's not part of the project kit so with the project kit you get the CD with about 200 images on it you get four sheets of the specialty plastic paper for your printer and a bunch of directions so again, the disc has over 200 images on it. She gives you a little printout of some of the images that are on it, but that doesn't even dive into all of the images that's on that disc. It's, it's really super cool. And again, it does work for a personal computer or a Mac. So it works for, you know, anything. So I want to show you how I got started. I already ran this through my printer. This is the specialty paper. Now she has it broken up into a couple different categories. You can do print ready where she puts everything on one sheet and you can print it like that. But I wanted to pick specific images. So she has another folder with all the images that called clip art. And then you can take your individual pictures and kind of build up what you want to print that way. And that's what I did. I chose these five images here and I ran it through my printer. Now it's for an inkjet printer only, it is not for a laser printer. So this is what this project kit is for, for printing. Um, and what you're gonna, I ran that through my printer, and then I'm gonna cut out the first image here, and this is what I'm gonna make the, for the first part of the video here, these two images. So I, off camera, I went ahead and cut this out here. I fussy cut around the edges. I'm just kind of flicking it, just, it's a pretty thick plastic there. It's flim, it's, it's, you know, you can warp it and bend it and whatnot, but it's pretty, pretty dirty, sturdy plastic there. So you want to work off of a heat resistant surface. So I've actually got my Tim Holtz craft sheet and then I'm putting that on top of a cutting board or I'm putting my little cut out piece of plastic on top of a cutting board as well. You want to make sure that you're working with some heat resistant uh, work surface there. And then I've grabbed some tweezers because I don't want to burn myself. Um, with the bigger pieces, you have a less likely chance of burning yourself because it's going to take a little bit longer to shrink. But see how color the how light the colors are. They're very muted. But wait till you see this in action. So I went ahead and turned on my heat gun. I did let it heat up for about five seconds, and now I'm just going and heating it up. Now this is the second time with this particular one. This is the second time I ever did it, so I get a little bit better as the video goes. Uh, so anyway, I'm just adding some heat and it's, uh, or some heat, excuse me. And you're going to start seeing it warp and kind of crumple up. Look at that. <laughs> 
You're going to think you're messing it up, but I, you're not. I promise you, you're not. You want to heat both sides of it so when it starts to crinkle up on the front side, go ahead and flip it over and then heat it on the back side. Just constantly have heat going. Don't take your heat gun off of the plastic because about five seconds after you remove the heat, this sucker is going to set and it's going to be permanent. So it's going to basically crumple up into a ball almost, as you can see, and then, see it's crumpling up into a ball, and then it's going to kind of start to flatten out, and that's how you know you're just about done. So you want to make sure you have acrylic block by you uh, when you're done, because you're going to put that acrylic block over the top of it, like I'm going to do right here. See, here's the final part. It's starting to flatten out just a little bit. So I'm going to immediately turn off my heat, and I'm going to set my acrylic block right down on top of that, and it takes no more than 10 seconds, not even that long, probably five seconds, to flatten out. You don't need to smush your acrylic block around or anything. Just lay something flat over the top of it and heavy. And then when you're done, look, done, done, done. It's hard. It's, it's not breakable. It's fantastic. I'm flicking it. It's not going anywhere. It's not bending. I can throw it. This would be great for ornaments. I mean, you could probably even make drink coasters with it. Um, you can just do, you could decorate a card with it if you want to, but there's a lot of things. You can make fun little embellishment kits for kids' birthday parties. Um, it's fun. So look at the difference in the color. See how when you print it, it's so light, but once you add the heat and stuff, it shrinks and the colors get very, very, very vibrant. So it's super cool. I just think this stuff is so cool. And it's got all the color added to it because you're using the images from the CD that she's provided for you. So I'm going to do it one more time, and like I said, I do get a little bit better as I go along in the video. This will be my third time doing it. This is just so cool. I just love it. So I'm going around and fussy cutting. Now she does recommend leaving a, a, a little border around, a little border of the white around the outside of your image, but I stink at fussy cutting. But once this shrinks up, you're not really going to see that border, so you don't have to be an expert fussy cutter here. So again, I'm going to go ahead and take my heat gun and I'm going to heat up the back side and then the front side it's going to start to crumble up and you're going to think that you've messed it up and it's ruined, but it's not. See, it's like crumpling up on both sides and then you'll see it start to flatten back out again and that's how you know you're pretty much done. Now I keep those tweezers on hand because I'm not burning my fingers. And it is, you know, warm to the touch if, if you go to touch it right about now. So I'm going to heat the back of it so it starts to flatten out as you can see. So I'm flipping it over, I'm going to heat the front, and then bam, I'm putting that acrylic block down. Count about five seconds. One, you don't have to mush it around. I don't know why I'm doing that. One, two, three, four, five, and we're done. That sucker is done. It's hard, it's cool, it's vibrant. The colors are out. I'm showing you, it's, I'm throwing it around. It's not breaking. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. Now here's one I did when I first got it. I went ahead and punched a hole in it. I cut it out. This is one of the images. I cut it out, punched a hole in it, and then I went ahead and shrink, shrunk it. And I want to show you, I don't know if you can see that if my camera focuses, but that is actually a Lawn Fawn stamp set from the stamp set Parappa Pump Pump. So you can actually do this with stamps as well, which I'll show you in a separate video, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. Here's the three. I made these with the Parappa Pump Pump. Parappa Pump Pump whatever, stamp set. So uh, here's all the stuff that, that I did today playing around with this, but I'm going to go ahead and put something together for you so you can see from start to finish just how fun it is. This is the little snowman here that I printed, and this is what I'm going to make for you in the video today. All of that is shrink plastic. So cool. No stamped images, no nothing. It's all shrink plastic straight from the kit. So there's the snowman. I went ahead and cut it out. The smaller images obviously kind of shrink faster. So it's starting to shrink up, so I'm flipping it around. Look at that, it's like a little tiny little ball. And then it's going to start to flatten up here. And then that's how you'll know to get something heavy. Acrylic block just works perfectly. And then I'm going to flatten it out. Look at that, isn't that neat? One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. I don't know why I keep smushing that block around. It's kind of driving me crazy. You don't have to do that. But that's done. It's <laughs> Look at that little snowman. <laughs> hey, you could put a pin on the batch back, turn this sucker into a brooch or a pin or something, whatever. There's so much you can do with it. So with that, that little scalloped uh, background there, actually, I, like I said, I cut it out, I punched the hole, and then I shrunk it. 
So now I'm just going to mount all this stuff together. I'm going to be using some glossy accents, which is a fantastic, fantastic adhesive. And I put all this together. And then um, I went ahead and tied a bow with some Lawn Fawn Hemp. If you follow me or my videos, you'll never see me tie a bow on camera because I stink at it and it takes me forever just to tie a bow. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, I've got some glossy accents and put my little snowman down that I'm going to hear the little present also with some glossy accents. And what I do is usually set an acrylic block on top of this uh, just for a few minutes so that glossy accents has time to set and dry. And Glossy Accents is probably one of the strongest adhesives out there. Uh, so once it dries, whatever you're using with that sucker is not going anywhere. So I'm just going to take my block and I let it sit there for a few minutes. And then that's it. This can be an ornament for a Christmas tree. Uh, it could be a, a really nice tag for a present. I just think this stuff is cool. Now this Darcy woman, she doesn't know me. I don't know her. She didn't ask me to do this video. She has no idea who I am. Uh, I just think this stuff is so cool, and I look forward to doing some more videos on it and some other stuff. And I'll show you how I made some some uh, little stamp shrink things with my lawn fun stamps in the next video. So thanks so much for watching.